for a giant rising star nomination jai congratulations it must feel like confirmation of the form you've been in this season yeah no it's really really good uh yeah reward for effort for the um yeah past couple of weeks obviously want to keep building consistency but yeah a little bit of reward for effort it's probably been around five or six games that could have earned you a nomination this season but i don't imagine you would have lost too much sleep thinking about when that nomination would come no definitely um yeah it's sort of just something that you don't really think about you know it's there um but yeah like i said before um just take it game by game and yeah see what happens have you reviewed your performance from Saturday? What were you pleased with? Um, yeah, obviously as a as a team we uh, yeah played really well and um, it was really good to get the win and um, obviously uh, the more games we keep playing, we're getting better. Uh, ball movements getting better, and I think um, yeah, I just able to keep bringing my strengths and um, improving each week. And we're five five. It's such an important clash. It seems like you took every opportunity that came to you. Um, how did you handle those the pressure of those situations? Um, yeah, obviously, big game, um, MCG, the really good team. Um, and, yeah, I think just um, just doing what I've done um, each week and um, doing my prep right, get myself ready, um, and just, yeah, going to the game with confidence that um, I can play and, yeah, play my role. What what gives you that confidence? You're 19, it was just a 12 or 13 AFL game, but you seem to be playing with a lot of maturity. Yeah, I think just yeah the coach, the coaching staff definitely players around me. Um, the whole group has um, yeah really good trust in me that I'm going to go out there and play my role and um, yeah just out there on the field as well, always uh, communicating and giving feedback. Um, yeah, it's been really good. You work really close with Jamie Graham, obviously, as our senior assistant or as our assistant forwards coach. Um, how's that relationship going, and then and what's he teaching you? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, I mean, yeah, Jamie have a really good relationship. Um, I'm in his office, yeah, a couple of times a week, um, catching up whether it's reviews or upway preview. Um, yeah, he's been really good and um, extra touch comes grab me or I come and grab him. Um, yeah, we work really, uh, really well together. So, um, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, he talks about May and Lever this week because they're two of the best in the game. It's a really daunting prospect. How do you guys plan for that? Um, yeah, the, sort of the first thing he said was um, teams each week are going to keep throwing different things, um, whether it's me or the other forwards in the forward line. Um, obviously, when you're going well, other teams are going to try different stuff. So um, I think just, yeah, keep playing to my strengths and, um, yeah, just playing to my strengths. Performing so well against those two must give you confidence into any matchup that you're going to have for the rest of the season too. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, yeah, post by now, hopefully... Um, got Tigers at Optus and um, hopefully we can start building in further further into the season and um, yeah just keep keep improving um, as well as your three goals you had two goal assists something that you'd love to bring into your game as well yeah definitely um, yeah bringing players in the game it's not always going to be me that's kicking the goals um, we love everyone in the, everyone in the fold line having their opportunity um, so yeah just bringing that as well talk us through that play where you set up Schultz Specifically, um, what was your mindset once you picked up that ground ball? Yeah, obviously we want it um, to not just bomb the ball in. Obviously we like, um, well, you see May, May and Lever like to roll back, uh, line a ball and um, that kick there, if I've kicked it in quickly, it's easy to set mark for them. So just, um, yeah, sort of taking some composure, um, slowing the game down a bit, waiting for the forwards to get down there um, and then, yeah, just getting the ball uh, deep, deep and long. Seems like our entries are a bit more calculated in the last few weeks, like your your delivery to Banfield as well in the first quarter was was spot on. Um, do, do you guys feel that that it's working now? Yeah, definitely. I think each week we just gonna keep building that chemistry um, with each other. Obviously, we're a young team. I'm um, going to keep improving, um, but yeah, I think we're just yeah going to keep improving each week. Um, yeah. uh, it's bye week. Um, clearly, you've got a lot on your plate today. With I, I'm, I know I'm not the only interview you're doing. Um, we take the chance to head down south after. Yeah, probably. I think that's, that'll be the plan. Um, go down and see the family um, if I can. And yeah, we could down. Good to go down there and see them. Um, as rising star, you're going to get asked a lot about your footy journey. Um, it's fitting that that you'll be heading home this week to to reflect on. It. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I get down there, it's, it's awesome. See the family um, and all the foster kids down there as well that have been through my journey um, throughout my footy career. Um, yeah, it's going to be really good to see them. Yeah, how many foster kids have, have you got at home at the moment? Yeah, we got six at the moment. 
Um, so it's pretty full household. Um, it's been like that for quite a while now. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. Obviously, like I said before, it's good to get down there and see them when I can. But that it's a fairly unique upbringing for you. Has that how's it helped you that develop you as a person or even football wise? Yeah, it just gives me um, yeah really good. Like obviously they've had a hard up, upbringing. I've had yeah, a bit of a easy upbringing, but yeah, seeing people like that really makes you so thankful of um, yeah what's happened to you when you when you're younger. And like I said before, yeah, I've had a really good up, upbringing and just um, trying to give them the best upbringing they can. Um, yeah, gives me joy. That's great. Um, any chance to head down to local Oval and practice some set shots for all time's sake? Oh, maybe I might get down there and kick a couple. Yeah. Do, how many do you think you've done down at that Oval just in your lifetime? Oh, I don't know. There's, <laughs> there would have been a few. There's three Ovals down there, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, couple. Um, and how are you going to reset heading into, I mean, we've got a couple of weeks before we take on Richmond, but what's your plan with that? Um, yeah, obviously I'll take yeah, a good four days off, um, rest of the body and mind. It's been a good um, stint of footy. Um, obviously didn't play much last year and getting a couple of games on a mobile now. Um, yeah, just take the time off to relax and rejuvenate. Um, we'll review the game and, um, yeah, get into training uh, the back end of the week. Leave